In this presentation, we will build a statement of cash flows using the direct method. We're going to have our information on the left side. We're going to build our worksheet with that information and then create our statement of cash flows from this worksheet. We're going to use a step-by-step -step process to create the statement of cash flows designed to minimize the amount of errors that we have. Like a balance sheet, a statement of cash flows is one of those types of statements that we can get to the end of it, see that it doesn't tie out the way we want, and not know where to go from there. What we want to do is avoid that problem by making step-by-step -step checkpoints along the way, so that uh, if we run into problems, we don't basically have to start over again. That's going to be part of the design of putting together the statement of cash flows. On the left side, our information, we have a comparative balance sheet, which means we have a balance sheet for two periods. We're going to be in the current period here and the prior period. That's typically going to be necessary no matter what type of cash flow we're making, whether it be direct or indirect. We typically want a comparative balance sheet, a balance sheet with two time periods. That's the primary tool that we are going to be using to make our worksheet, which we will do this time. Then we're going to have our income statement. So these are going to be the financial statements, of course, up to this point that we created from the adjusted trial balance. And then we typically have some other information that we're going to have here. Now, this is going to be given to us in a question like this, kind of like a book question type style. We'll just give the added information. We'll talk about in practice what would happen in practice. Where would we get this information in practice? And generally, we would kind of know this stuff and look into it in terms of breaking down the detail and the general ledgers. So once we get into this, we'll talk more about this. We'll, we'll go through this in a step-by-step -step process, however, first making the worksheet that we're going to use. And to make the worksheet for a direct method, it's going to be a little bit different than we did with the indirect method. We're going to use a component of the income statement as opposed to just having the uh, comparative balance sheet. But we'll start off in the same kind of way here. Uh, many people, when they do a statement of cash flows, they may just take the comparative balance sheet and just add another column and have the difference between them. I like.